Welcome to my new video. My name is Björn Friedrich and today I'm here to show you the Koti Gaeshi, a Japanese Aikido wrist lock that can be used in grappling and I will show you how to use it in a grappling based scenario. And of course I will give you the principles you have to uh, understand in order to make this technique not just effective but also efficient because with the wrist lock efficiency is big part of making the technique uh, work. As fast as you can make this technique work, as better are the chances that you will be able to apply it. You, know, you can't model through wrist locks. Either you get the wrist lock or you don't. So that's why the mechanics are so important. So let's start. If you are looking for awesome BGG and MMA gear, check out our sponsor X Marshall. Use the coupon code Johan Friedrich and you will get 10% off your order. So check out the link in the description box and get some great stuff. We are in this position. I'm here. I'm trying to fake a little bit. Fake him up, grip, and I get the wrist. And uh, <laughs> then I wake up off my dream and I realize <laughs> I messed up big time. That was a joke, you know. To get a wrist lock, there is a few things you have to understand. First of all, we are wrestling. We are grabbing. What does it mean? It doesn't mean that there are the rules and laws of grappling and of wrestling. And that means I need to get a good head position, I need to get good hand fighting. That is my prerequisite. I cannot attack a wrist lock without controlling position. Here I can start my attack. From here, by just going for it, he just pulls away. Just pull away. You know, or you know, he pulls away and grabs me something. And here he grabs me, can't go in, you know. That doesn't make any sense. You know, completely wrong. What I do, I'm here, keep my elbows tight like always when you grapple. You don't want to expose your armpits. You step in, you, you do head control. And now I control. I control here and here. Look at my elbows. My elbows are pinned to my ribs. And what I do with the wrist, I will show you that later from the close up situation. I'm not grabbing the wrist. I'm grabbing the thumb, the forearm, and the back of the hand. That is the main point here. I'm here. From here what I do is, you have to understand, I want his arm away from his body and my arms close to my body. So I'm not going here, and he pulls his arm back, I'm not going, stop. I'm not doing this from here, because here he's very strong and I'm very weak. I want the opposite. So I step in, I control, from here I go here, you see? Now my arms are strong, close to my body, his elbow is far away from, from his body. And from here, I will go slowly, I go and get attack. Um, one more time, then I will show you close up. So I'm here, first things first, head control. Never try to do this, he pushes his head in, you know, it's done. Resting rules, resting basics, head control, elbow, you grab, you grab, both arms. From here, slightly pull him back and down, you see? Pull him down and back. And now from here, use your second hand, step out, bam, and get the arm. And from here, let's step away from, away from the wall. From here, I go to the triangle point and I get the wrist lock. So, um, like I said, your arm close, your, arm, your arms have to be close, his arm has to be far away from the body. You, it's very difficult to do this when both are here. Hard, maybe, but hard to do. So, what I want is head, pull down, step away. Now I can go. Let's look at the wrist, and we are closely, you know. I'm not, when I grab the wrist here, I'm not grabbing the, the forearm, nor I'm grabbing here. My last two fingers are at the bone of the forearm, my thumb is on the knuckle line, and my index finger is on the thumb. From here, I'm not squeezing, I'm pushing here, and I'm bending here, you see. I'm not going only here, but I'm straightening this, you see? I'm straightening this and I'm bending. This is the point. Not just one point, but I go two points. Pushing, you see, you see his skin moving. Here. You see? Here. And now, the key point with throwing is, I never go to a direction you don't want to go. I go to the triangle point. Triangle point means 
I do a line between his feet and their 90 degrees angle. That's the angle he goes. He falls easy. So when I control head control, when I get my grip here with my second hand, I'm not going this way. I'm going right into the triangle point to, to help him to release the pain on his, on his arm. I want him down. You know, I don't want him to jump around. I want him down. So that's why you know, I'm here, step in, head control. You see, look at my, my arm. I'm moving in and I immediately pull it away. And that's, I go here. So don't, don't go one and push him away and stay out and then try to rip the arm. Doesn't work. You know, I'm moving in. I'm not grabbing. I'm here, I'm going, and my shoulder's pushing. I go down and away, close to my body. And then it's just, it's not a big movement. It's just here and go here into the triangle point. So, if you want to make this work, first, remember, head positioning, elbows tight, the rules of stand-up grappling. Then, try to extend his arm, try to control the back of his hand, and then pull his arm away from his body while keeping your elbows closed at your body. That's the way you can create a mechanical advantage and then you can try the result. Why trying it? Basically, because you can create some kind of um, chaos. You know, you can, you can create some chaos, you can create sometimes a, a takedown, you can uh, work in a way that he will pull his arms away, that he is scared to engage with you. So, you know, you can do a lot of stuff. And the good thing is, you don't expose yourself. You know, if you're here and you pull and doesn't break and he pulls back, okay. Nothing wrong, you're still in position, you still have your head, your arms are tight, so you don't overexposing yourself. A wrist lock is always there, and if it works, it's great, if not, it's good too, because you're not exposing yourself, and you can do the other stuff that you would do regularly. That is my take on the Koti Gaeshi. I hope you like this video. If you like it, give us a subscription, give us a like, share our videos, and check out our instruction series at BJJ Fanatics, and of course, Visit our sponsor, our sponsor X Marshall, for great MA and BG gear and get 10% off your order with the coupon code Beyond Friedrich. So, thank you very much and see you next time.